3 Eye Atlas is streaking through our solar system right now, and for the first time ever, astronomers have measured a comet with more carbon dioxide than water, something never seen before, not even in our own solar system. Don't click away. You'll get the exact numbers on this bizarre chemistry and find out how this single discovery could reveal what ancient star systems were made of, changing what we thought we knew about the building blocks of planets and life. I've always wanted to read more, but finding the time, that's the hard part. Short form is what finally changed that for me, and it might do the same for you. Short form isn't just summaries, it's real analysis. Their team breaks down top non-fiction books chapter by chapter. You get a one-page overview of the whole book, detailed breakdowns with smart insights, counterpoints from other authors, and simple exercises at the end of each chapter so you can actually apply what you've learned. And it all comes in PDF and audio. So whether you're commuting, cooking, or winding down, you can always keep learning. I've been exploring productivity books like Atomic Habits by James Clear. What stood out is how short form connects his ideas on habits to other authors, like linking them with deep work by Cal Newport. It gave me a bigger picture I would have missed otherwise. If you want to read more, learn more, and understand more, try Shortform. Go to shortform.com forward slash insane for a free trial plus three months off when you sign up for the annual plan. The story of 3i Atlas began on July 1st, 2025, when the Atlas survey in Hawaii picked up a faint, fast-moving object. Its path was unmistakably hyperbolic meaning it's not from around here, and it's never coming back. This is only the third time in history we've caught an object from another star system passing through our cosmic neighborhood, and this one is a heavyweight. Early estimates suggest it's much larger than Oumuamua or Borisov, possibly stretching dozens of kilometers across, and it's moving at a breakneck speed, over 26 kilometers per second. That's about 94,000 kilometers per hour fast enough to cross the distance from Earth to the Moon in under five hours. Confirmation came quickly. Within days, observatories worldwide locked onto its trajectory, and the Minor Planet Center verified what everyone was hoping. This was a true interstellar visitor, not a local comet on a weird orbit. Most comets we see are leftovers from our own solar system's formation, but 3i Atlas is a time capsule from another star possibly form billions of years before our sun even existed. Imagine the secrets it could hold about the galaxy's earliest days. But what really set astronomers buzzing was the chance to study its makeup as it neared the sun. Would it behave like a typical comet, sprouting a bright tail and shedding water vapor? Or would it surprise us with something completely alien? The first images from Hubble showed a fuzzy glow, a comma of gas and dust, but no dramatic tail like you'd expect from a classic comet. That alone was a clue. This object might be built differently from anything we've seen before. The race was on to gather as much data as possible before 3 Eye Atlas slipped away. Ground-based telescopes, space observatories, and even Mars orbiters started tracking its every move. The excitement wasn't just about its size or speed. It was about what its chemistry could reveal. If this object formed around another star, its ices and dust could be totally unlike the stuff in our own backyard. That's why scientists were so eager to catch every wisp of gas it released as sunlight warmed its surface. One of the biggest mysteries was its age. Some models, based on its speed and direction, suggest 3 i Atlas could have been wandering the galaxy for more than 11 billion years, older than our sun and maybe even older than the thin disk of the Milky Way itself. If that's true, it's carrying material from a time when the galaxy was a different place. But how do you figure out the history of a rock that's been drifting through interstellar space for eons? That's where the latest observations come in. The discovery itself was a triumph of modern astronomy. The Atlas survey, designed to spot dangerous asteroids, caught this interstellar visitor thanks to its wide-field cameras and rapid data crunching. Once the alert went out, 
Astronomers around the world jumped in, sharing data and expertise to confirm its origin and start the first round of scientific detective work. This kind of global teamwork is what makes it possible to learn so much, so quickly, from a fleeting visitor like 3 I Atlas. As it approached the Sun, the first clues about its composition started to emerge. Would it erupt with water vapor and dust, or would it reveal a stranger mix of chemicals? The answer, as you'll see in the next part, turns out to be even weirder than anyone expected. Every new observation has only deepened the mystery, raising questions about where 3 I Atlas came from, what it's made of, and what secrets it might be carrying from the dawn of the galaxy. But here's the twist. The James Webb Space Telescope and Sphere X found that 3 I Atlas is venting carbon dioxide at a rate of about 70 kilograms per second, while water vapor is barely detectable, less than 4.5 kilograms per second, if any at all. That's a ratio never seen in any comet before. In our solar system, water is always the dominant ice, but here, carbon dioxide is king. This suggests 3I Atlas formed in a region of its home system far colder than where our comets come from, or maybe even in a completely different kind of protoplanetary disk. The implications are huge. If comets like this are common in other star systems, it means the chemistry of planet formation across the galaxy could be far more diverse than we ever imagined. And that's just the beginning. As 3I Atlas continues its journey, astronomers are scrambling to capture every possible detail before it vanishes forever. The next part will dive into the wild chemistry, the latest telescope findings, and the big questions about what this ancient traveler is really made of. The moment astronomers realize 3I Atlas wasn't just chemically bizarre, but also physically unique, the focus shifted from its origins to the wild details emerging from the world's most advanced observatories. Instead of the familiar cometary fireworks, researchers found themselves puzzling over a nucleus that might be among the largest ever glimpsed from interstellar space. Early infrared readings hinted at a body possibly up to 46 kilometers wide, though later analyses suggested a more modest size, revealing just how tricky it is to pin down the true dimensions of a visitor shrouded in its own ancient dust. What's truly captivating is how 3I Atlas is interacting with sunlight. Unlike typical comets which erupt in dramatic jets as they approach the sun, this object's activity is subtle and strangely muted. The dust cloud detected by Hubble and ground-based telescopes extends thousands of kilometers but remains faint, with dust grains drifting away at a leisurely pace. This gentle outflow suggests a surface that's been toughened by eons of cosmic radiation, its outer layers perhaps baked into a crust that only reluctantly lets go of its secrets. The lack of a classic sweeping tail, despite its proximity to the Sun, has left scientists debating whether the interstellar medium itself is shaping the comet's appearance, or if 3I Atlas simply carries less volatile material than its solar system cousins. But the real treasure trove lies in the chemistry. With the James Webb Space Telescope and Spherex both zeroing in, astronomers have begun to tease out the molecular makeup of the gases streaming from the comet's surface. The dominance of carbon dioxide over water vapor is just the beginning. Spectral signatures hint at a cocktail of exotic ices and possibly even complex organics, molecules that could have formed in the coldest, darkest reaches of another star's protoplanetary disk. These findings are forcing scientists to rethink what's possible in planetary nurseries across the galaxy. If 3I Atlas is typical of its kind, then the diversity of cometary chemistry out there is far greater than anyone dared imagine. Hey Curious Squad, before we dive deeper, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're fascinated by these cosmic mysteries. There's a lot more to uncover, and you'll want to be the first to know when new discoveries drop. One of the most intriguing revelations is the comet's surface color and texture. Observations in visible and near-infrared light show a deep reddish hue far more intense than most objects in their own solar system. This coloration is likely the result of complex organic molecules, 
Tholans, formed as cosmic rays bombarded the comet during its interstellar journey. These Tholans are thought to be some of the most primitive materials in the universe, and their presence on 3i Atlas offers a rare window into the chemistry that might have been common in the galaxy's earliest days. The surface itself appears rough and possibly layered, with hints of a crust that could be shielding even more pristine material beneath. Adding to the mystery, some researchers have proposed that 3i Atlas might not be a single solid chunk, but rather a loosely bound aggregate, essentially a cosmic rubble pile. This would explain the slow, steady release of dust and gas, as well as the object's resilience despite its high-speed plunge through the solar system. If true, it raises fascinating questions about how such fragile structures can survive the rigors of interstellar travel for billions of years. The comet's trajectory is also providing fresh insights. As it arcs through the solar system, its path is being minutely altered by the outgassing of material, a phenomenon known as non-gravitational acceleration. By tracking these tiny shifts, astronomers are learning not just about the comet's mass and structure, but also about the forces at play in the vast spaces between stars. Each data point helps refine our models of how interstellar objects move, evolve, and interact with the environments they pass through. Perhaps the most tantalizing question is what 3i Atlas can teach us about the potential for life elsewhere. The detection of complex organics in the comet's ancient, unaltered chemistry suggests that the ingredients for life might be scattered far and wide across the galaxy, hitching rides on objects just like this one. If these molecules can survive the harsh conditions of interstellar space, they could seed young planetary systems with the raw materials needed for biology to emerge. As 3i Atlas speeds toward its closest approach to the Sun, the global astronomy community is in a frenzy, orchestrating a campaign unlike anything attempted for a fleeting interstellar visitor. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. The comet will pass closer to Mars than to Earth, and for a brief window, it's perfectly positioned for a cosmic stakeout by both ground-based telescopes and spacecraft orbiting the Red Planet. The European Space Agency's Mars orbiters, along with NASA's MAVEN, are all being retasked to catch a glimpse of this ancient traveler as it sweeps by. Even the JUICE spacecraft on its way to Jupiter is being considered for opportunistic observations. The hope is to capture high-resolution images and spectra that could reveal surface features, jet activity, or even unexpected outbursts as the sun's heat ramps up. Here's the deal, though. 3i Atlas's trajectory means it will soon swing behind the sun from Earth's perspective, plunging it into a period of solar conjunction. During this time, radio signals from spacecraft and telescopes are drowned out by the sun's glare, making direct observations nearly impossible. Scientists are racing against the clock coordinating observation schedules down to the minute, hoping to squeeze out every last bit of data before the comet disappears from view. The tension is palpable. Will we catch a final burst of activity, or will crucial details slip through our fingers as the comet vanishes into the solar glare? What makes this campaign so urgent isn't just the comet's rarity, but its scientific potential. 3i Atlas is believed to have originated in the galaxy's thick disk, a population of stars and material that predates our Sun by billions of years. If this is true, the comet is older than any planet in our solar system, carrying unaltered material from a time when the Milky Way was still assembling its spiral arms. The dust and ices it sheds could contain isotopic fingerprints and molecular structures that simply don't exist anywhere else we can study. For planetary scientists, this is like opening a time capsule from the dawn of the galaxy, a direct sample of the raw ingredients that built the first worlds. The Vera Rubin Observatory, sent to begin full operations soon, is poised to revolutionize our ability to spot these rare interstellar visitors. Its massive sky survey will scan the heavens every few nights, catching fast-moving objects that might otherwise slip by unnoticed. 
If 3i Atlas is any indication, there could be many more interstellar comets passing through our solar system than we ever realized, each one a messenger from a different corner of the galaxy, each carrying its own unique story. The hope is that with better detection and rapid response observation campaigns, we'll be ready to study the next visitor in even greater detail, maybe even planning a dedicated spacecraft flyby or sample return mission. Yet, as the world's telescopes and spacecraft focus on 3i Atlas, there's a growing sense of urgency. The comet's fleeting presence is a stark reminder of how quickly these opportunities can pass. Once it swings around the sun and heads back into interstellar space, it will be gone forever, its secrets locked away for another eon-long journey between the stars. The data we collect now will fuel research for decades sparking new theories about planet formation, the chemistry of distant star systems, and the possibility of life's ingredients traveling across the galaxy. So what will we learn before 3i Atlas vanishes? Will the final observations reveal hidden jets, unexpected molecules, or even clues to a violent past in another solar system? Could we one day intercept a future interstellar visitor, sending a probe to sample its surface and bring back a piece of another world? The race is on, and every new discovery brings us closer to answering some of the biggest questions in astronomy. What do you think? Will humanity ever catch up to one of these cosmic messengers and unlock its secrets up close? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to not miss our dedicated video to the other interstellar objects Oumuamua and Tuai Borisov.